Our children uh, who have studied here with us and grown up in our church have now gone for their higher education uh, to different countries. And they're going to talk about uh, how the Lord has led them over there. So um, just say what you're doing now, in which country you're studying. In. I'm in Bangalore right now, and I'm doing BSc Psychology Honors from Christ University. Uh, I'm studying medicine in Poland. The university name is the University of Uch. Uh, I'm doing MBBS in India, and I'm studying in Tirnel Valley Medical College. I'm pursuing my career in uh, law uh, in Middlesex University in Dubai. Praise God for his grace on each of our children over here. So I'm just going to ask a few questions. Uh, we'll start with Sharapta. Uh, and actually, all four of you, you've grown up here, church, Sunday school, learned a lot about the Lord, Bible knowledge. So um, how is this, uh, you know, how is this helping you now uh, in your, relation, your relationship with the Lord, your prayer life, your Bible understanding? How is it helping you now there? So in the first few weeks, uh, because of the big change, I wasn't able to pray or worship the Lord. But in that time, uh, the verses and the sermons that I learned, especially during the memory verse competition, really helped me uh, Like during the stressful and lonely times. And uh, when there's like a lot of misconceptions about Christianity in Bangalore, especially among non-believers, and I was able to show them about the true essence of Christianity that I learned from TCF. Uh, as for me, uh, I was not feeling homesick because uh, previously I went to India for studying need for a month. So like I have learned even during that time, uh, without my parents, I was able to stay. Uh, and uh, now like I have to stay alone as well as or like pay for groceries or like do the household works and cook for myself. I was not able to feel uh, like every time or any situation I was going through, I put God first. Like if I'm going to cook, I prayed first and asked for his guidance to do it properly so that I'll be able to have like the meal for the day. And, and even through like... Uh, the group of people I went to, there were few Christians, and even they didn't like know much about like more about God. They like went through like traditional ways, but I was able to like uh, what I studied from Sunday school and from the knowledge of knowing about God. I was able to share like few stuff stuff about uh, God, and they were like uh, feeling better, like not feeling homesick or like sad about anything moving forward. Uh, for me, I think uh, all this time that I was in Abu Dhabi, uh, in Sunday school as well as in church, I learned different skills like uh, of how to pray and how to uh, seek God in everything first. And most importantly, I, during this time, I learned how to trust God in different decisions of my life and how to uh, trust Him blindly and to pray to Him alone. And that was very important for me in India. For in everything, in every small decision to every big thing, uh, I learned to trust God, which helped me to stay calm in different situations, which helped me to um, tell others boldly that I know what God has for me. And in different decisions that I had to take, uh, I remember to pray. And I remember that uh, to read Bible, to ask God to reveal things to me. And uh, most importantly, um, I, I learned to seek Him first in different situations and to trust him. Uh, the one thing that, is, uh, that has been very uh, different in my life after going to college is like, uh, you start to be more independent, more than being dependent on others. So back those days in my school life, or when I was with my parents, I used to be more dependent on them for doing stuff. So uh, when, I, when I went to college, it has been more independent for me, and I've, I've, feel the, I've felt the presence of the Holy Spirit helping me throughout the journey throughout my days in my college. And it has been lately uh, two to three months in college because offline classes started. So, and uh, especially when it comes to my academics and my studies, uh, I, I, felt, uh, I, felt my, uh, I felt the Holy Spirit guiding me throughout the work because my work is basically, uh, uh, it's law. So when, you, when it comes to law, like um, uh, the studies, when it comes to studies, uh, you have to do a lot of research on uh, everything, and you have to do the assignment, or, or, or you have to do the assignment, you have to do the coursework and submit it on time. So in those things, it would have been more hectic for me, and it, it would it would be on my head. A lot of uh, workload will be there, a lot of assignments. So 
in those days i used to sit and i i pray and i just tell lord uh, you have to be there for me i know you will not leave me i know you will be there for me you help me and guide me throughout this and he has been there for me always and he has been guided me in all the ways uh, in my academics as well as, as well as my loneliness in the college days i mean like in hostel so yeah that's how it has been helping me thank you um so over there um because you're away from home and from the church that you've grown in um and you're in a different setup so do you face any unique problems as a believer um so as a believer and as going to church coming to tcf every week it was really weird for me to not go to any services or have any fellowship there because uh, even though i'm in a christian college or in a catholic um hostel their services and the sermons they give are very different from what i'm used to and i'm not comfortable there and now i started learning how to use the public transport and the metro so hopefully i can get into a church soon even i was having issues i mean i'm still having issues with the uh, services over there because all the services over there are like in polish uh, and i like i'm not able to understand the polish language and even if i find like a, a student uh, united church uh, i'm not able to like feel the presence of god because it's totally different from uh, what i have been studying over here uh, but the only thing uh, like since i studied and understand everything from here about god uh, in sunday school i was able to put it there when i'm alone i'm able to put it in action and as i said i went with a group of few christian students so i'm also able to gather those few students and like have a prayer meetings and we do prayers like when we are in hard times or like when they have uh, since i'm 17 like i get financial i mean i have to my dad pays me but for them they have like the card like each month only they'll get paid so they like they have some financial issues and like and then uh, during exam times uh, before we used to like be with our parents ask them to pray and then like be with them and ask them to help now we all as a group we fast during exam times and like pray thank you so akka the uh, unique problems that i faced were um there were things that were normal to the worldly people to the others which was not normal for me so that was different because uh, for everybody else it was normal but i felt like i was doing something wrong uh, if i was doing that and second uh, i had a lot of freedom in india i could do anything i want uh, or and there was there was a lot of things to do but doing the right things and having self control was a unique problem that i had and uh, comparing myself to others and uh, everybody around me my friends and everybody they had different uh, things they would cheat in exams they would get good marks and uh, i would compare myself to them like since i didn't do that um, I, the thought comes to me that i could have easily done that and i could have been in a better place but then that's wrong so uh, things like that that was normal for them was not normal for me so that was different and uh, uh, having a self control on myself was also important for me Uh, the one unique problem that i faced in my college or in my hostel uh, i would say because uh, they used to conduct night outs basically night parties at night which is organized by the students and not by the university uh, people so i felt that was not the right thing that i would go to or that is not something uh, the lord wants me to go to or something so i used to get pulled into those things and they used to ask me to come for all that and i said no i would i used to say clear no to them uh, because i don't like going to those and don't pull me into all, all of those and uh, yeah those are some problems i faced and since i'm coming week, every weekends to uh, to church uh, from dubai it's not that far so i haven't built anything strong uh, i haven't built any strong fellowship over there um, like that it has been just 2 to 3 months offline i started to go so maybe coming days i might All right. Any testimonies you would like to share quickly? But so the first few weeks, uh, it was really hard for me to adjust. Um, I like I have been under my parents' shadow. They do everything for me, and suddenly being in a new place and the hostel was really hard for me to adjust. And the warden was exceptionally rude. 
But each day that I used to think that I couldn't get through it, or each day I used to think I'm going to shout at the word in back and stuff. But Holy Spirit gave me the patience and he gave me the patience and the strength to adapt. So it's still shocking to me, like looking back, how I could go through all that. But the warden left, so that's also a good thing. Uh, for me, testimony is, uh, I'll thank God for, firstly, thank God for helping me go to have a wonderful studies in Poland and able to survive three months without my parents, like, Everything, like the money is little in my hand, I have to go buy things. It was so nerve wracking because that's something I'll just like always ask my dad, buy this, buy that, buy everything. But then, like, when I had to go there, the money was in my hand, but I didn't feel like buying because I was scared that, you know, I would spend a lot. And then cooking food and everything, like, God led me through all the situations. And he also helped me to have like really good friends and many things which I was not able to do in my school life. God has made me do in university and he made me like uh, make known to many people that I'm capable of doing stuff. Amen. Uh, I praise God. It's been almost 10 months and initially I didn't uh, have a prayer or fellowship or anything over there. Uh, and I didn't have the time for it also. And after some months, I, it's like almost six or seven months later, um, I was blessed enough to be able to join the uh, fellowship that they have with the students over there, the student fellowship, which is there. And uh, I was scared to go at first. I thought it'll all be in Tamil. I won't understand anything. I won't be able to connect to them. But then it was very nice and it was run by the students. So it was very peaceful and it was very... Um, it, I was able to connect with them, and uh, in my daily in my daily life, in my studies and everything, every day, each and every day, God leaves me in wonders because everything He does for me is amazing. And recently, I had my practical exams, and for that, um, obviously, I was I wasn't able to finish everything. There was a little bit left, and I went there and I said, God, uh, give me what I studied. But as soon as I went, I got exactly what I didn't study. And uh, I was scared. I started panicking. But then God was there for me at that moment. He helped me to recall things that uh, I had studied months ago. And he helped me to answer it. And that day, I remember leaving the examination hall in wonder because um, he had done something that I didn't expect. I thank God for being there for me in the year one and completing year one without any areas because uh, <laughs> Many students with me, many of my friends, they had resets on the month of August, but uh, I successfully completed without any areas and without any resets. And lately I started to go for offline classes, so uh, he, has, he has been there for me for all my academics, for all my assignments, all my courseworks. Uh, it's really hectic when, when, when we do that, like for, especially for my uh, course law. But I used to do it effortlessly and very effect effectively, and that has been really helpful to me. And I really, I'm really thankful and grateful to God for being there always. Thank you. Thank you. Praise God. Praise God.